The Martin MGM-1 Matador was the first operational surface-to-surface -surface cruise missile designed and built by the United States. It was developed after the Second World War. Drawing upon their wartime experience with creating the Republic Ford JV-2, a copy of the German V-1. The Matador was similar in concept to the V-1, but it included a radio command that allowed in-flight course corrections. This allowed accuracy to be maintained over greatly extended ranges of just under 1,000 kilometers. To allow these ranges, the Matador was powered by a small turbojet engine in place of the V-1's much less efficient Pulsajet. Matador was armed with a W-5 nuclear warhead, essentially an improved version of the Fat Man design that was lighter and had a smaller cross-section. A single U.S. Air Force Group, first pilotless bomber squadron, was armed with the weapon, keeping them on alert with a six-minute launch time. It could be easily retargeted, unlike weapons using inertial guidance systems. Accuracy at maximum range was about one mile, which allowed it to be used against any large target like troop concentrations or armored spearheads. First flown in 1949, Matador entered service in 1952 and left service in 1962. Matador carried several designations during its lifetime, originally known under the War Department system as SSM-A. By the time it was introduced to service, the Air Force had been created, and they referred to them as bombers and assigned it the B-61 designation. It was later re-designated TM-61, for tactical missile, and finally MGM-1 when the U.S. Department of Defense introduced the Tri-Service Missile and Drone Designation System in 1963.